What is up, my fellow Intuibians? I am Logan, the Totally Epic Gamer, and yes, I am going to show you how to get the most gold the fastest. This took me about an hour, this whole process. I have quite a few places. You're going to find out what I mean in a second. So, uh, let's go through my gear. Uh, I got carrying capacity uh, by 20 points, 20 points on bracers, and just that random helmet. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. 20 on the ring, 20 on the necklace, dragon skin armor with 27 stamina on it. Uh, my weapon, the only thing I'm going to use is Chilren. That's the only thing I did use. And now let's go through what I kind of reeked for this. Uh, so, Dwarven Mace of Winnowing, Glass Warhammer of Stunning, Turning. These are all to be sold, by the way. Um, Staff of Fury. So, let's, let's you know, just add it up quickly. This says 3K, you know, almost 4, uh, about 4.5, right? So, that's weapons. All right. Um, saying about 5.5, right? And so now we're at doing math on the weekends. Oh god, that's almost 7k, a little bit over actually. Um, uh, now we're at seven, about oh, 7.5, uh, 8.5, and let's say we're at nine. And now we're a little over nine, and so we're a little bit over nine. Uh, that as well, um, so almost 10. <laughs> All right, so that's that, that's the good part. And now we're going to do Mammoth Tusks. There's 14 of them. Let's make it 15. Uh, there's 100 or 1,500. So we're at like what? Almost over a little. Probably about uh, 1,200 or 12,000. Sorry. All these random gems. I don't want to count those. We'll just accumulate say 2,000. Uh, so we're at 14,000. All of these scales. All of these bones. I don't even want to do that. It's well, this one's easy. It's about you know 20 right there, so we're at about 34. Um, what about five there? So we're almost we're about 30. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's it. So so we're at 30k, and I started with about 5.6, I think. Uh, so we'll say about another eight on top of it. So we're at about what? 38,000 is that what we send it to 30k so 38,000 so about 40,000 gold in an hour um, which is pretty damn quick uh, did I get anything else no I'm pretty much uh, I don't really care about that so 40,000 pretty quickly oh, <laughs> dragon soul catching up to me um, so I'm pretty over encumbered right now it's best to bring a partner along with this even with all the stamina that you have you're gonna want to bring a uh, follower just so she can she or he can carry all that crap for you so we have about Eight, we had uh, 8k flat that we made and uh, about 30k without so we're gonna make it just you know cut it right in half 15 on top of 8 so we're at 23k now what does this all mean that's 23,000 an hour um, just you know I, it took me about maybe 40 minutes I wouldn't say an hour and this is basically what I did so you go to Secundiscus I have all these places you know giants places and uh, uh, dragon places all unlocked all you need is the dragon places and the uh, giant places. So I started off with Secundus Kiss. Went to Bleakwind Basin. If you need these spots, just like pause the video here and just start looking at them. Went to Sleeping Tree right after, and then I believe that's it for that like part. And I go over here, Talking Stone. I don't think there's anything over here. Um, and I did all giants first, and then I went uh, Boom, Red Road, Stone Hill, Blizzard Rest, Tumble Arch, and then I believe I went. I, I actually didn't have Golden Rock, but I saw it when I went to Cradle Crash. Or Cradle Crush. So I went to Cradle Crush, then Golden, Broken Limb, Stream Keg, and that's where I stopped right there. And then I started doing um, Dragon, starting from the farthest bottom. Lost Tongue, Brown Strewn, and then I went to Sheer Point, Mount Anthor, and Skyborn, Elder's Blood. You see where this is going. You know, all I did was just go through all of them over and over again. They respawn, and the, the stuff inside their chest also respawns. So I got about 20k in about 40 minutes, and that's totally legit, right? Like this is a totally legit way. It's not cheating the system at all. You're not like you don't feel bad about doing an infinite infinite money glitch, and you're working for it. So it's not like you're breaking the game on it, and it's pretty easy. And especially if you have really good um, price gear, where price gear basically gets you better prices, and you're good in speechcraft uh, with perks in it, you're gonna get a lot of gold off this way. So hope this helps you guys, and you know, have a great day and have a lot of gold. Peace.